it's like we were going through the forest, we got false intel and all that. Yeah, yeah. we can't, can't let that happen. No, we can't let that yeah. happen again. Last we left off, our group had rescued the mirror of discovery from the hands of Queen Sitter Morel. Her minions, Vlad and Dora, had stolen the bejeweled hand mirror from Empress Labia's daughter, Rhys, while she was on a mission with their Leyte allies. As a result, you were able to save the five kingdoms of Zemelot from a demonic horde. A year has passed since our heroes have been on an adventure. In those months, bards have created songs to commemorate your bravery. Children dream of following in your footsteps. Young suitors long to be your lovers. As the group meets outside the city gates before attending the reception, a messenger from Reese's mother, Empress Labia, informs you of an invasion on the castle. The queen has once again sent her minions to steal, and this time it's the golden wig of enlightenment. Although dangerous, Reese is surrounded by her faithful companions, Sun, a human druid, and Fee, an elf fighter. Also joining them is the well-connected traveling bard divine. And this is where our story begins. What did your mother say about the minions? Did she see how far away they are? She said Vlad and Dora are only about two hours out. We should reach them before nightfall. What are you doing? Practicing. They had better be ready to get their asses handed to them. Again. So, son, do you sense anything? It's gonna be lit. The guardians of the forest say that we're on the right path, but danger is very close. V, <gasps> oh. you got this? Yeah, they're gonna wish they had stayed in their bedrolls. <laughs> I don't recognize them. I think I saw them at the Lipstick Lounge a couple of nights ago. <laughs> what were you doing at the Lipstick Lounge? I was there for line dancing class, if you must know. Always so nosy. <gasps> anyway, so these guys were inside the gates, and they were following us. They must work for the Queen. I don't know. The markings on the sword point to Rithman. See? It's like the Queen and Rithman are working together. We're gonna have to go to the mines to find them. Oh, hi! Hi, girls. How's the quest going? Hi, Mom. Oh, it's going great, you know. We killed some bad guys. We've discovered that they work for Rithman, and now we're off to the mines to stop Vlad and Dora before they reach the castle. I'm so proud of us. Aww, I'm proud of you guys, too. Well, listen, I was on face chat this morning and talking to one of my classmates from my 12th year potions class, and, well, she gave me some information that I think could be helpful for you. Uh, I've sent my faithful Raven Calliope with a message. Oh, oh there it is. Well, good luck. Love you. Bye. Love you too, Mom. Back to the spa. Hi, Mom. Your mom scares the hell out of me. It's because you're always so sprazzled. These guys were trying to keep us from getting to the mines. You can tell from Mother. There will be several obstacles for you to overcome on your journey. No shit. Thanks a lot, Mom. 
Let's get this mind thing over with so we can get back that wig. Let us know once you summon the earthquake. Reese, should I cover her? Oh, we tried, but she refuses to wear clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fee, and I'll go with Divine. The earthquake will take out a few of them. You and I, let's get in position. Here goes nothing. Plus four to wisdom, and plus two to my wand of Alan. Yeah, that's 24. Whoa, hey. good job. Okay, roll. Roll again, dude. That's cocked. Oh, let him have it. No way. DM. Reese. Roll again. Twenty. With my dexterity? Suck it. Nice. nice. That's a critical hit. Double your damage. Uh, two d10s, 10 and 10, oh my God. 20 damage. Oh, yeah. yeah, get him. As Reese petitions the gods for a golden lame death grip, a large bolt of golden lame swirls from the heavens, wrapping the guards from shoulders to feet, squeezing him so tightly his eyeballs pop out, and finally twirling the carcass off into oblivion. Yeah, nice. Pretty gnarly. Do you have kids? Great job. Okay, Divine, what are you going to do? There. It should only take a couple of minutes for it to work. Lipstick of truth is impossible to resist, even by the most, ooh, well-trained spies. <laughs> Rip off his clothes. Is that part of the spell? No. Okay. Who are you people? What do you want? We want to know who you're working for. We work for... Whitman. Who's asking? Who is none of your concern? How long have you been in camp? A couple of days. They left and they came back. Look, look at me. Why are you out here? The Queen's Minions. We are here for them. We were the only camp. They left and they just waiting. Where did Vladidora go? How long ago did they leave your camp? Just left. A few days. Left and took off. Mao who falls. This explains that. Mahu Falls? I think I might know where they're going. Well, many years ago, there was a rumor of a magic portal at the entrance of a cavern that is obscured by a waterfall. It is said, supposedly, that before the Empress's rule, for many of us have the freedoms we have today, that the Queen and the Empress met in secret. Back then, they were simply known as Jin and Sira. The magic portal allowed Sira to come visit Jin without their families knowing. If the legends are true, then the waterfall must not be too far from here. I've never heard of that legend. It's become less popular over the years since the Empress and the Queen ended their friendship. 
Anyway, no one knew where this magic portal was. Many theories abounded, but no one ever found it. However, some of us bars think we may have figured out where it is. That must be where they're going. Surely, son, with them being so close, you could find their trail. They'll know we're coming. <laughs> Honey, everyone knows when you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head out. That's probably breathes on her tacky as drag queens. Don't focus. Don't get us lost this time. You know how you can get? Oh, please. We got this. They didn't even know we were in the city gates. Well, you never know. They could have gotten lucky. You know how it is, girl. We plan and we plan. Let me just stop you there, honey. If fees with them, they won't get any information. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, girl. She done, girl. We need to get to that waterfall. Now, where did mother say? Speaking of gushing waterfalls, what you got going on tonight? I have a date. Oh yeah? With Larry. Oh. Where'd you meet Larry? At Marla's. He was at a reading and in the audience and we bonded over our love of rubies. Well, Larry has to be better than Steve. <laughs> oh God, Steve. And what was up with that hair thing? Yeah, and remember when you brought all those dudes? Dude? What the hell? What is there? See? The blue petals of illusion. Just like Mother described. Hi. Hello, Vlad and Dora. Hi, I see you. <laughs> Why did you have to come on a celebration day? Why? I mean, you have no lives. So I guess you must be bored, but on a feast day? <sighs> I had a date tonight. Nice things about you, Alex. I knew you follow us. And you're not the only one, Reese. I have a date tonight, too. Yeah, with a cucumber. <laughs> Bitch. No, you don't. We won't get trapped in your vines again. We don't need to fight. Yeah, we can just take you to the queen and she can deal with you. No, you don't. She is not getting that wig. Ah, oh, it's six already. Oh, yes. what's with your dad? Look at Gerald. Poker games he's playing anyway. Um, Come on, man. His style. I don't know. Okay, that's all we have time for today. Uh, Everyone here next week? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I need to begin an hour later next week. Oh, oh come, on. Oh, come, on, come on, man. Come on, man. I'll bring pizza, okay?
Hey, David, I'd like to talk to you about my character. Oh, this should be fun. I remember what Divine did to help the lady with the evil fuck of Falau. Uh, your work today with the guard was inspired. What did you have in mind? This is what I want to do with the wig. Dragon. 